Hello and welcome to the Lofty Pursuits channel. Today, we're not going to be in Tallahassee, Florida. We're not even going to be in Lofty Pursuits. We're going to go on the road and we're going to make some taffy as we travel with Greg. We've traveled to the north end of South Carolina to Myrtle Beach where there's a little shop called We Are Sweets. It's a great shop where they have an amazing selection of taffy that they make and we're going to make some taffy with them today. I got to meet the brothers Todd and Bruce who own the shop. I got to tell you these are great guys and they were willing to show me how to make taffy and I'd never made taffy on a mechanical system before. They're making strawberry banana candy and I love the flavor of strawberry banana. It's one of my favorite ice cream flavors that we have at the shop. Taffy is a soft candy. It's made a lot like our hard candies, but it's wrapped in paper because it's soft and it's sticky. It was developed in the late 1800s by a gentleman named Joseph Fralinger in Atlantic City, and that's where the popularity started. It was always sold by the beach, and because it was near the salt water, they called it saltwater taffy. Don't believe the story is there's no real salt in saltwater taffy. They color code the candy so that you can identify it before you open up the packaging. And he's rolling together the pink and the yellow to make a nice spiral so that you know that it's strawberry banana. Todd loads the candy onto the batch roller and lets it spin. A batch roller is a machine that basically does what I do on the table by hand, rolling the candy back and forth to make a cylinder that's tapered. It'll do this mechanically and it'll come out nice and long and straight, and it'll allow him to auto-feed it into a machine that'll cut and wrap the candy. Todd works the taffy down the rollers. Now taffy is worked at a much lower temperature than the hard candy that I normally do. This is practically room temperature. And he's working it down the rollers to build a better taper so he can feed it through the machine and eventually feed it into the cutting and wrapping machine. This batch roller is a little unusual. It has four mechanical rollers that are called sizers that size the candy down. And it's a first step in a series of sizing processes to get the rope of candy to the right diameter. He takes the candy and he puts it through a second set of sizers to make it even smaller. And then he reaches around and turns on his cut and wrap machine. The cut and wrap machine cuts the candy into pieces, wraps it in paper so that you don't have to do it. That would take a very long time. His machine's a very old one from the 20s or the 30s. It is a Rose Pipe K cut wrap machine, and it's a classic one. But these things are, while more common than you think, are very, very hard to maintain. I don't know if all candy companies that make candy give out samples, but Tom here is tossing samples of wrapped taffy out to his customers, and they're catching them and enjoying them. So let's go through the whole process here. We start with the batch roller where the candy is pulled out from the main log. It then goes through a couple of sizers, and then it goes through a space I haven't shown you where the candy just sort of flops back and forth. This gives it a little bit of space to correct. If one machine's going faster than the other, it can adjust here. It then feeds into the cut wrap machine that has one last tiny sizer to get things precise. It's hard to show everything this machine does because so much of it is done inside the machine. But it's taking the rope of candy and it's cutting discs about an inch in diameter and a half inch thick off it. It's forcing it into a sheet of paper that it cut, rolls it around and then sends it to these arms that spin either end, twisting it tight, and then a little arm hits it out and knocks it down into the basket. They don't waste a bit as the machine sucks every last bit of sugar into it to make it into these delicious candies. And I thought that was going to be it with this trip. But then Butch comes over and Butch says, Hey Greg, want to see our big machines? Apparently they do wholesale as well and they have a bigger facility across town. So we hop in the truck and we drive over to their main facility to see what they do over there. The equipment is familiar. They start with a giant kettle and cook the sugar. They then pour it into smaller portions that they can use. They get it on a candy cooling table and they put it into a taffy puller. When I make candies, I either add the flavors and the colors in the pot or on the table. They don't do either. Butch here on the left is telling me they add colors on the taffy puller as well as the flavors. This is going to be cherry flavored candy and they mark it with a couple of stripes on the outside. You'll see that a little later. 
I never asked how much the batch weighed, but I'm guessing at least 75 pounds. If you ever make it to Tallahassee, please visit us at Lofty Pursuits. And if you ever make it to Myrtle Beach, please visit We Are Sweets. They also sell, like us, their candy mail order. The candy is stiff, but it's cool, almost room temperature. They can do this with their bare hands. I'm so jealous at times. They put stripes on it to denote the flavor, which, like I said, was cherry. And they're going to then take it over to their batch roller. And oh, wow, this was a huge batch roller. Everything is bigger in this operation, including the equipment. They take it over to their batch roller, but they have to do the same process. They're going to size it down by tapering it in the batch roller, and they're going to feed it through a sizing wheel. Well, several of them. Each sizing wheel takes it a little smaller and makes it a little rounder, and feeds it around to a bend, and this bend is the same place that gives it a little slack so the two machines don't have to run at exactly the same speed. He then feeds it into the cut wrap machine, and if you take a look here, you'll see the little disc spinning around. It feeds the candy into that disc, and the disc spins, cutting it off to a perfect sized piece. Just like the other machine, a roll of paper is fed into the machine, where it cuts it to size and wraps it around the candy. Then one at a time, two mechanical arms reach out, spin either end of the paper, and wrap the candy and drop it into a final bin. The smaller machine did about 40 to 50 pieces of candy per minute. This one does 150. It's going really fast. But this shop needs to do even more with this candy. You see, unlike the store where they sell the candy in bulk, they're going to need to package a random selection of flavors. And to do this, they even have more cool equipment. They package literally tons of taffy. And to do this, they have this machine which mixes the candy and drops it into this candy elevator that takes it to a second story weighing system. The elevator dumps the candy onto a conveyor belt, which then drops it down a chute into a sorting system, which vibrates it out into one of 12 little bins. Each bin contains a scale, and the computer sees how much weight is in each one and combines multiple bins, dropping it down to the floor below to make the perfectly weighed bag of candy. Not every piece of candy weighs exactly the same. And the machine isn't exactly precise at dropping it into the different bins. Sometimes it's got a piece more or a piece less, and it averages it out and combines these, and that gets a very precisely weighed box of candy. It drops down to the next floor directly into the candy bagger, which then heat seals it and sends it off to the boxing system. And this is where humans come in. They push the bags of candy into the boxes. The boxes then go down the conveyor belt. They seal, they turn around so they can stack perfectly. And they get shipped out in crates all over the United States. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel. If you want to get our candy that we make, please go to www.pd.net. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also get this candy, and we'll include a link in it in the description to this video. Thanks again for watching, and if you ever come by Tallahassee, please come and visit Lofty Pursuits. We'd love to see you.